Greetings, my friends. Everybody, everywhere worships God. Or a God. Or gods. It is from our nature. We all have a need to reach out to someone beyond us. And that is God. Now, is the God that each and every one of us calls on the same God? Are there different gods? You have one, I have one. Each person has his own God. Or is there really only one God? Because if I believe my God is a donkey, and I pray to my donkey, and my prayers are answered, I say, this is my God, he's a donkey. But you know God is not a donkey. So who is answering his prayers? It's the true God. And really, there is only one true God. He's one. People have all kinds of ideas, but they're mistaken ideas. Even if he's a man, because some people say, okay, God is a man. And, you know, you have one man, so-and-so has another man. There are many men who people worship as gods. Right now, in South India, there is an individual by the name of Sai Baba. He has 8 million followers who believe he is God. And he's alive now. But is he really God? They pray to him. Prayers are answers. But is he really God? No. It is God who is answering the prayers. There is only one God. Not two. If there were two, then what you're going to find is confusion. One God wants to do one thing. Another God wants to do something else. So who decides? This one pulls this way. That one pulls this way. There would be confusion. The, the non-existence of confusion is proof that there is only one God. So this is what we need to believe in. Truly one God. Who is not a one that becomes something else, like a caterpillar. Caterpillar becomes a butterfly. So this God becomes a man. No, 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 no. That's not the one God. The one God is always God. And only in Islam is the one God truly God with everything that is in its scriptures, everything that the prophet said. It is all about the one God true God, only in Islam.